here with uh, Giampiero Bianco, the owner of Tenuta La Meridiana. We are in a very steep hill here in the heart of the Monferrato, Piedmont. Uh, Giampiero, dimmi qualcosa di Tenuta La Meridiana. Quanti, quanti anni è che siete qua che fate bene? Allora, sono quattro generazioni, dal 1890, gli ettari di proprietà in questo momento sono 12 ettari, il 90% è a bacca rossa e l'80-75% è a valle. Perfetto. So, Giampiero Bianco, tenuta la meridiana, di have been here in the Monferrato since 1890, so over 100 years of tradition of winemaking in this beautiful land of Piedmont. Uh, they have uh, quanti ettari? 12. 12 hectares, which means about 25 acres of uh, land. Uh, 80% of this land is uh, red grape, 20% is white. And out of this 80%, 75% is Barbera. So his main production actually is this varietal called Barbera. Cosa mi dici della, della Barbera e del Monferrato? Che differenza c'è tra la Barbera d'Alba e la Barbera del Monferrato? Ma sono due zone completamente diverse, sia per territorio, sia per terreni e sia per un motivo, un motivo molto semplice. Noi in questa parte del Piemonte il nostro vino più importante è la Barbera, perciò tu adesso sei in un sud sud in questo momento. Perfetto. So he says that the main difference between the Alba and the Lange area and the Monferrato area when it comes to Barbera is the fact that it is for historical reasons. Uh, here in the Monferrato area their main focus traditionally for hundreds of years is Barbera. While in the Lange the main focus at the pickers uh, uh, passion is Nebbiolo. Therefore, the best slope, like this one, south exposed here, is dedicated to Barbera. While in the in the Lange area, the best slope are all dedicated to Nebbiolo. Therefore, the Barbera here in the Monferrato area give the best of the best of Anche the results. Perché abbiamo qui come Barbera d'Asti abbiamo la DOCG, la Direzione di Origine Controllata e Garantita. Alba alla DOC, so alla DOC. Therefore, come this, il Parolo. Exactly. Sì. Therefore, this main difference has been awarded here in the Monferrato with the DOCG, which is the highest rank in the classification of the Italian one. So, uh, compared to uh, uh, other, uh, other soil, um, if you click on the other winery, you go to Veneto or you go in the, uh, um, in the uh, Castellari Bergaglio winery where the soil was, was dark, was red or it was brown. Here the soil is really white, white. Is humble and is hard, like, is hard like a rock because there is a very high concentration of limestone. And limestone means body and softness and minerals in the wine. But Giampiero just said, if we just dig one foot be, below this layer of uh, limestone and clay, we found a, a particular soil is called tufo. The tufo is, is, is hard as a rock and is kind of waterproof. So it doesn't let the water to go down and the water, because it's so steep, slides down. The result is a vine that is quite stressed because it doesn't have enough water, enough nutrition, so it doesn't produce a lot. You see the cluster are, are not too big, but the skin is very thick and the flavor is absolutely phenomenal. Facciamo una prova. Giampiero, vedo anche qui, eh, come ho visto con le uve bianche del, 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 dell'uva sul, sul terreno. I see some uh, uh, grape on the floor as I've seen in the past. You do the same procedure here as they do for the white wine? Ma eh, questa è la vendemmia verde. Noi eh, su questi crui come il Brico Sereno, come il Terra e Cielo e anche eh, su 
sulle gagie, facciamo una selezione a luglio che si chiama vendemmia verde. Perciò quello che noi riteniamo in esubero lo buttiamo a terra. Ok, so Giampiero uh, call this the green harvest, la vendemmia verde. In July, before when the grape is still green, they come in the vineyard and they cut down physically what they consider is the exceed of production or what they think is not very healthy, is not very good. Go physically cut it down, the green harvest, and they leave hanging here only the best of the best of the grape that will go all the way to the end of the season, waiting for a couple of weeks now for the harvest. Okay. So basically, um, you can notice that it's a way different from the, the white uh, vineyard with the Chardonnay was was very tall with the Casarsa, the Casarsa very tall above the floor. This one is very short. Why? Because here we are on the top of the hill. We have seen how steep the hill was. So we need to bring the grape closer to the soil so the grape will get the heat because up here high elevation is much colder at night. So they will get the heat from the soil and then we have a nice green panel here that works like a solar panel to give strength to the vine. Perfect exposure. All the grape are equally distanced from the soil. So we get best exposure, heat, no humidity, beautiful solar panel, the best of the best. Non c'è umidità. Let's go tasting. Andiamo a assaggiare? Sì. Allora. Andiamo a assaggiare. Yeah. Yeah.